techniques uh, sequencing technique and uh, screening technique cloning technique uh, then uh, separation uh, separation of uh, lipid separation of proteins that kind of things are there in the uh, it's uh, this whole paragraph is uh, combine uh, full genetic engineering uh, portion because uh, in uh, this uh, whole paragraph is contains the topics uh, of full genetic engineering uh, using the uh, selectively i am going to explain what are the specific techniques in uh, uh, in the uh, uh, experiment okay uh, first one is uh, for cloning for cloning we need the restriction enzyme it's a question uh, they are rapidly asked in uh, the csar examination uh, about the restriction enzymes okay they are uh, not directly asking the restriction enzyme questions they are asking the questions with uh, uh, the recognition site or uh, they are asking the question with the cofactors okay it's a very very important one to understanding uh, many of them may know about the restriction enzyme uh, specific uh, why uh, i'm i want to let you know again uh, plasmid or gene why we want to cut the plasmid or gene after the uh, after the restriction on plasmid only we can do the cloning uh, the replacement happen at the on particular site right uh, that replacement want to uh, make the restriction on particular site uh, particular sites after the restriction alone we can do the uh, cloning it's a basic information uh, using this uh, restriction enzyme we may uh, we made a cut on the plasmid and uh, we can cut the particular genetic region from the host cell that a human or uh, any uh, organism then this restriction enzyme is having specific characters okay now first i am going to explain about the type 1 restriction enzyme uh, here they have they are explained type 1 type 2 type 3 restriction enzymes here uh, this is very very important one in the molecular biology uh, because uh, it's not uh, commonly used in the experiment uh, it's there uh, it, it's in a less um, like uh, rare things are the focused one right um, most uh, we are not focusing the uh, rapidly using uh, anything here this type 1 restriction enzyme is rarely rarely and less than common use but for specific researchers they used for their research so they are given the experiment with the uh, type 1 restriction enzyme okay this restriction enzymes are helps to uh, cut the more than 1000 base base pairs away from the recognition site okay in center part you may have the sorry uh, in in the center part you may uh, have the uh, particular uh, restriction side imagine one uh, circle in the circle uh, uh, one point is recognition site uh, in that side you have some amino some nucleotides you are you are cutting side recognition site is apart from the recognition site how far of uh, how far away from the restriction site means it's in more than thousand thousand base, base pairs away from the recognition site uh, it's a non specific location okay here the, this this is a very very important one uh, okay uh, some researcher did their research in laboratory they uh, they used the restriction enzyme uh, that rents restriction enzyme uh, um, non specifically cut the uh, cut the uh, particular gene uh, so the research may fail okay question now question is please uh, find the what uh, uh, what kind of restriction enzyme they used that question is uh, 
answer is the type one restriction inside because uh, that uh, word non specifically that is that cut the restriction inside cut the g it's an uh, one important example on the game tell a researcher did the research in laboratory with the restriction enzymes and doing cloning uh, during the cloning the restriction enzymes is non specifically cut the gene so the gene uh, is not uh specific not specifically cut cut it uh because of this uh, uh unwanted portions in recognition site the cloning is not properly happen now the question is what is the restriction sign that scientist used so that kind of question they are asking the story they first they tell the story in that story itself you can uh see the uh, restriction uh, see the uh, concept okay uh, this is a single multifunctional enzyme heterodimers this having the heterodimers heterodimers means uh, it uh, helps to uh, it having two dim two domains then cofactors cofactors is a very very important one in their story uh, in say say exam they are given as a story right uh, in the story uh they mentioned uh, they added the cofactor as a atp the key so key, these are all the keywords this non specific location uh, it's a uh, single single multifunctional uh, enzyme or uh, atp these three are the uh, these are all the keywords keywords if you find this keywords in the uh, in the uh, question you can understand okay they are used the type one restriction enzyme these are the keywords uh okay next um uh next from we are going to part type 2 restriction enzyme in the type 2 restriction enzyme uh it cut cut the both strand at the specific usually the palindromic recognition site uh, this keyword palindromic recognition site it's an keyword for the type 2 restriction enzyme it can cleave the it can cleave the 4 to 8 base pairs okay uh, and uh, it's a separate nucleus and methylase it's a restriction enzymes it's a restriction enzyme is a nucleus enzyme and uh, modify with the methylase enzyme it's a homodimer homodimer is word very very important uh, this having the homodimer uh homodimer heterodimer means that uh, uh, nuclear subunit they are representing the nuclear subunits next to the cofactor is mg2 plus uh in this point you may get the uh, confusion okay uh this having uh, mg2 plus uh, and also type 3 also having mg2 plus in this type of question you need to understand the uh this uh, recognition site okay here in this palindromic sequence it cut the type 2 restriction only cut the palindromic sequence between 4 to 8 base pairs alone but this uh, type 3 enzyme is uh, only cut the 24 to 26 base pairs it's a very uh, the important thing while uh, they are given as a mg2 plus in question you want to understand whether it is uh, type 1 or type type 2 or type 3 uh, these are all the keywords in the type uh, restriction enzyme uh, in uh, in the csir examination they asked widely about uh, this restriction enzyme so only i am mentioned this the restriction enzyme topic is very very important one just uh, uh, i am once again repeat all the things uh, the most rapidly used most common is type 2 enzyme it helps to cut the palindromic sequence the homodimer here keyword is mg2 plus okay it's cut the 4 to 8 base pairs alone less than common it's a, okay somewhat they are using means type 1 enzyme that type 1 enzyme helps to cut the um, uh, recognition site apart from the recognition site it helps to cut the more than 1000 base pairs uh, here it's a heterodimer the keyword is atp uh, atp non specific these are all the keywords of type 1 restriction enzyme 
type 3 restriction enzyme is rarely used it helps to cut only 22 24 to 26 base pairs uh, here the restriction is a homodim heterodimer it helps to uh, helps and reactivated with the cofactor mg2 plus ions so in this two recognition sites in a head to head orientation here the uh, that two recognition site in the same concept uh, here uh, um, uh, they are uh, explained with the restriction enzymes. Okay. Here in this concept, uh, we need to understand uh, what is the role of the restriction enzyme. Okay. Okay. There are the uh, restriction site of HINT3. Okay. What is the restriction site of HINT3? That cleavage site is the after A. It's in sequence A, A, G, C, T, T. So it's sequence for uh, uh, that hint 3 cleavage. If uh, the enzyme found anywhere in the nucleotide sequence, it cleaves. Uh, the hint 3 is an enzyme. It's searching the, the recognition site on the uh, nucleotide. If it is finding this, uh, uh, the sequence, continuous sequence on DNA, it ready okay with our second site it's my site i want to cleave it so it's doing the cleavage uh, in the particular portion so, so uh, it's an uh, uh, here in this it's an uh, input it's a nucleotide after the cleavage it's an output and cleave at one particular site so that is the a after the a it cleaves at the, same, at, the, at, uh, at the same time, it cleaves the uh, another stand also. This uh, uh, this stand also cleave, cleaved by the restriction enzyme. So it cleaves at the, this position. I think it's understandable. A recognition of hint 3 is A, G, G, T, T. In this portion, uh, like uh, it's cut at the, after the A session. It makes the sticky end. This uh, this is the keyword. It makes the sticky end. They may ask the question with the recognition site A A C C uh, G C T T. It's a recognition site. Uh, among them, uh, in this recognition, after the first letter A, after the A, it's a cleavage site. Uh, this hint three makes the uh, sticky end. Sticky end. Uh, Cleavage. Uh, these are all the basic things we want to understand uh, with the uh, restriction enzymes. Next, small, uh, small. Uh, here it's a small one. It's not a small, small one. S M A one. It's an I. It's not an I. It's one. S M A one. It's having the restriction site. C C C G G G. It's very. Uh, you, uh, you want to memorize this. What uh, like uh, uh, I like our uh, uh, A B C uh, like our uh, formulas. Okay, hint three having the restriction site A A G C T T. Uh, small one. It having the restriction site uh, uh, C C C G G G. Uh, whenever this enzymes found this continuous sequence on nucleotide, it ready for the uh, ready to cut the particular portion. Uh, that is the restriction site. Uh, okay. Uh, here it's making the blend end. Uh, it, in this uh, in this image itself, we can we can have the question. That question is, uh, what the enzymes make the uh, sticky end? Uh, sorry, blend end. That is the small one. Okay. Next is the echo over one. Echo over one is, and hint three small one, much one. These are all the most rapidly using restriction enzyme in laboratory scale. So, and industry scale also, but in small schools, students level and researchers level, they are rapidly using this restriction enzymes. Here, the E core one. E core one restriction site is G A A T T C. Uh, it's, uh, it's also making the sticky and it's cut after the uh, G. Much one. Uh, much one having the restriction site. E G A T C C. Uh, uh, this I am not stress this three points because uh, first first one uh, you want to understand the concept of restriction enzymes only mention but all three are very very important 
they given a sequence in that sequence please uh, find the restriction in uh, please find the restriction site and what is the enzyme helps to restrict the particular portion it may be the question so the concept is you want to understand and memorize the what is the restriction sites of uh, recognition sites of hint3 okay uh, this for hint3 small one and a4 one uh, this this the understand uh, the memorizing of this is very very important uh, so please take it uh, likewise we have the enzyme so only put this for one alone uh, we have n number of enzymes among them we are using only this uh, for for uh, um, just for example i am explaining for and this for are rapidly asked and this is a common question so please uh, take it into your brain okay uh, apart from restriction enzyme the restriction enzyme is used for cutting of the particular portion okay now we did the restriction on particular site then we want to uh, uh, make the uh, uh, that uh, extension so using the polynucleotide polymerase we, we have the sequence only they are adding at the particular portion polynucleotide pol polymerase is makes the extensions that uh, my can um, it's an uh, it's an uh, bifunctional enzyme it can activated by uh the uh, addition of cdp and phosphorylation process then another enzyme used in this process is uh, it's a dna ligase first restriction after the cutting we want to uh, make the blend and stick in okay here in this process you received this uneven uh, uneven uh, uh, strand right so uh in this uneven strand is not uh, suitable for ligation so we will need it the even end for that even end we are doing the uh, this uh, using the polynucleotide polymerase and develop the sequences and then after this developing we need to do the ligation ligation means it's the addition addition of the foreign foreign gene with the that plasmid or restriction site Here some parts are very, very 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 important thing is the DNA ligase uh, is uh, steel neck on the backbone of the double strand and after the lagging lagging strand formation and join the ochre socket fragments very important thing here uh, the DNA ligase is isolated from the T4 bacteriophage on one information uh, T4 bacteriophage. its activators uh, is a atp cofactor here uh, that point in this uh, restriction enzyme restriction enzyme one is activated by the cofactor atp and also here ligase is activated by the atp uh, in the enzyme from the e coli is used the uh, nda as a cofactor uh, the mostly they are using the atp this uh, mechanism of uh, ligase enzyme ligase enzyme is a protein right that having n number of enzymes uh, amino acids Apo among that my um, amino acids here that lies in and uh, uh, it makes the interaction with the amp that amp is uh, interacted with the uh, sec one adenine sequence and it interact with the the nucleotide sec nucleotide present on the dna if there is an phosphorylation uh, that uh, amp uh, addition of atp that have the phosphorylation process happen at the particular particular uh, happen between the ligation enzyme and the dna strand uh, amp that makes the uh, attachment between both the restricted site and the, the native plasmid strand It's a non-specific uh, interaction. Why we want to ligating with the uh, chicken blendin? So if there is no blendin, there is no problem directly attached. If there is an uh, chicken, we need to transient base by structure. We need uh, here the space is there, so DNA ligase is sealed the discontinuity. 
ஓகே ஆஃப்டர் த லைகேஷன் வி வாண்ட் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வேர் வி வாண்ட் டு லைகேட் now they discuss the restriction enzyme and the diag- uh, restriction enzyme and all about the uh, um, ligase enzymes enzymes used in the cloning after this cloning we how we can uh, where we, we want to re- we want to restrict where we want to ligate uh, for that i'm going to explain the steps uh, vectors vectors are the carriers this carriers are helps to uh, take over our uh, our specific gene this specific gene is the are uh, placed at the our recognition site okay this carrier carrier uh, carrier means it's uh, uh, one uh, support for uh, move the uh, take the gene in this we have in the plasmid and bacteria page uh for uh, that uh, if there is um, plasmids plasmids is a very very important concept in the uh, in the uh, uh, cloning and the molecular biology techniques the uh, the plasmids are helps to carry carry carrying the all um, uh it helps to carrying the all the informations uh, all the genetic information that are of a particular specific gene uh, character of one species to another species here yeah, uh, that the plasmid this round circles uh, the uh, the bigger uh, round circle is called as the nucleus circle the small small uh, things are the plasmid uh, uh, plasmid or dna the uh, the bigger one is a new plasmid new genomic new genomic dna that smaller plasmid dna we here for all the experiments or genetic experiments now we are for cloning experiment we are focusing on the plasmid DNA. so only first step of the cloning is plasmid dna isolation uh, this after receiving this plasmid dna we need to do the res- uh, restriction Uh, we want to cut down the particular portion these are all the things for that we need the plasmid this plasmids are having the two uh, different characters okay uh, this non integrative plasmid non integrative plasmid means it's not integrated with the nucleus genome uh, this is very important thing and uh, we want to understand uh, non integrative protein na- this non sorry plasmid this non integrative plasmid it not integrated with the nucleus genome nucleus chromosome new dna it's as such present in the in each and every cell division it's all of it's one thing and then another one is the episome this episome is the integrative plasmid uh, once you are uh, re- re- construct the plasmid and uh, inject in the bacteria means that plasmid is incorporate uh, with uh, uh, dna uh, nucleus dna so it's uh, this small one is uh, uh, it's uh, incorporate with the our uh, nucleo nucleo nuclear uh, genome that uh, uh, genomic uh, dna so after the cell division it's following it's a cell, cell division itself that carry over the the nucleus okay next is the how to transfer how it is transferred from cell to cell this plasmids are uh, ha, this plasmids are uh, um, move, move towards move, move from the one one cells donor cells to receptor cell it may happen by the conj- uh, the attachment of cell 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 attachment it's so one type of uh, transfer here Uh, the outer layer is moved to the another bacteria another receptor cell and form the nucleus then another uh, the pre- genomic uh, bacterial phage bacteria phage is a very very important thing uh, in the carrying the uh, dna part once the bacteria phage is uh, low and attached on the cell surface it's releasing its plasmid phage dna molecule this uh, phage dna molecule is uh, after undergone the 
replication process itself or uh, the the proteins in the cell itself helps to produce the caps uh, the capsid and other compounds after that that arrangement it happen this process is happen in our uh, human uh, coronaviral infection because first step first step they are attaching on the cell surface and enter the releasing the particle to human and that is get replicated in our body the after the replication the uh, they are uh, they are producing the protein components in the human cell itself and after the rearrangement it automatically release over out Okay, this is the bacteriophage concept where we have having the uh, how the bacteriophage enter into the um, bacterial cell. Bacteriophage is the, the viral viral particle enter into the bacterial chromosome. The DNA is released to the uh, DNA uh, that uh, virus is released the DNA to bacteria. Uh, the then the circulation lambda DNA circulation happen in the bacteria cell. That was after the circulation circularization it's uh, incorporate the with the nuclear genome and cell division have happen then uh, uh, as usual all the process are uh, similar to uh, the infection cycle then uh, another example is m13 phage receptor m13 receptor is the, it's uh, another one different type here uh, the lambda phage make bacteria phage makes the cell destroy dest destroy it uh, after the cell dis, uh, cell wall breaking only it releases over the uh, native cell that uh, you know, that uh, host cell but m13 phage uh, it's not uh, uh, damage the host cell here once releasing the dna the dnas are um, replicated in uh, the, the m13 dna is replicated in the uh, uh, bacterial system after the <coughs> uh, well that cell is uh, undergone the cell division. The bacteria cell undergone the cell division. After the cell division itself, that bacteria is having uh, the plasmid, that uh, foreign particle, foreign DNA plasmid. Here, the dot uh, that uh, produced cells are released to M13 particle. The outer cell, outer outer side of the cell, uh, bacterial cell also, the uh, they are produced the uh, the host particle. The host particle. We need only nucleic acid alone. That nucleic acids are released by the that bacteria cells that are receiving that they are receiving all the uh, bacterial plasmids and for for their survival. Here, that all process happen in the bacterial cell, and after the destroy alone, it comes out. It's a bacteria phage. In the M13 in the M13 bacteria, it's not destroying the uh, cell, human cell, that human cell or bacterial cell. These are all producing only producing the nuclear DNA of M13 in the bacteria cell. Only producing the uh, that uh, plasmid DNA or genomic DNA, any nucleic acid alone in the uh, bacterial cell. Uh, these are all the some uh, uh, incorporation steps. Okay. Uh, here, first we studied about the uh, uh, that uh, plasmids, right? These plasmids having the different type. First is we discussed about the plasmid. Then we discussed about the bacteria phase. These both are all the carriers, carriers for the cloning. Using this uh, carrier molecule, uh, we can do the, uh, we, we are, they are divided for, uh, divided into different types. This uh, is, uh, this, I'm, um, we divide different types. These are the major rapidly using uh, types, bacterial artificial chromosome. What is bacterial artificial chromosome? This bacterial artificial, they are, uh, the bacterial system having that, uh, uh, chromosome, right? We just altering particular say, particular portion that is the artificial that made up of some special character made up of with uh, made up with some specific character. Okay, what is the specificity? The bacteria F factor and origin of replication is the uh, 
engineered in this artificial chromosome. Bacterial artificial chromosome having the specific bacteria EF factor. And then it having the uh, origin of replication. Okay. This helps for all the uh, basic process in uh, uh, plasmid DNA isolation and uh, all other uh, expressions. Another one is the yeast artificial chromosome. This uh, uh, yeast artificial chromosome is most widely used uh, thing and most widely used for the experiment. This of uh, the uh, mammalian artificial chromosome is not widely used. Then plasmids, we studied, right, that uh, uh, plasmids are now found in bacteria that is the small nucleic acid sequence. Then uh, this uh, phage having the bacteria, that is M13 phage something. Okay, next is the uh, casmid. Cas having the uh, bacteria phage with the cast site. This cause site is uh, um, having uh, this cause site having a specificity of size is uh, 25, 35 to 25 to 35. Uh, here, uh, that size is also very very important because the, we are not uh, low, we are not taken this uh, uh, small plasmid for higher bigger uh, gene, right? Based on the gene size, that uh, the clone gene size alone, we need to uh, select the vector. Vector selection is very important. If you are in inserting a small gene, means that small plasmid is enough. If you insert the a larger larger nucleotide, larger gene, means we will need the larger plasmid. Okay, next uh, we are entering into the our, uh, next portion construction. For cDNA library construction alone, we need this vectors. These vectors are helpful for this cDNA library construction. So, only we have discussed about the plasmids, vectors, those things. plasmid studies, restriction enzymes, ligation enzymes. That applied study is the cDNA library construction. Uh, now, hereafter, we are discussing about all the, the application method, uh, screening method, application, uh, DNA library construction, cDNA library construction, sequencing technique in the cDNA library construction. Uh, here, first step is we want to isolate the mRNA sequence. MR, this uh, this is the uh, after, this happen after the cloning, after selection of the gene. Going to do the uh, we are first uh, grown up the cells in laboratory scale. After that, we want to isolate the mRNA sequence. After that mRNA sequence isolation, we need to do the reverse transcription or uh, transcriptase process. This reverse transcriptase helps into DNA. After the conversion of DNA, that DNA was in, 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 inserted into the bacterial cells that made that uh, recombinant DNA into the bacterial cell. That bacterial cells are grown uh, with the plas uh, and after that we can isolate the plasmid and purify. Here, this plasmid having the specific gene, not carrying on. Plasmid is, uh, uh, in this step, we are inserted one specific, first step itself, we are inserted the specific gene, not uh, incorporate all the gene. So, 
uh, uh, in the plasmid that the carrier carrier having carrier having one active site that is uh, in the recognition site other than the recognition that uh, the shifts in uh, the ligated site ligated site all the sequences are same very very notable one during the dcd itself we are doing the uh, incorporation of uh, gene with the plasmid that in that in that plasmid that genes are maybe isolated from the all many, many other uh, species so similar external part the extra parts are similar the particular one site alone is modified that alone that alone having the various gene so we are uh, doing the plasmid isolation and then se do sequencing this is the sequencing output pictorial representation of uh, the process first is an mrna it's hybrid with the oligo oligo tt uh, primers so then after that transcription process happen transcription process helps to produce the cdna cdna is means uh, it's uh, it helps to uh, helps to understand the water uh, the restrictions remove of uh, in this step uh, after this transcription step we need to uh, remove the rna because that if there is an rna we may get the trouble so now it's not a, a correct for the sequencing so what in this step what we are doing first uh, we have the mrna mrna to we are uh, producing the cdna mrna uh then uh, additional transcription transcription we got the uh, cdna complementary dna this dna having the full sequence that is uh, the wanted thing so we need to remove the rna that rna is unwanted thing so we removed it now here that uh, we have the sequence do the pcr analysis so we are adding the primers this primers are uh, oligo primers are uh, this synthesis is the complementary strand after the complementary strand synthesis there was the double strand formation double strand dna here is the a specific gene of interest this gene of interest particular care that produced a sequence is are uh, bound with the e cor Linkers, because in this step they are using the e coron. Why me? That was an one plasmid that is restricted with the e coron. Uh, that means uh, that particular uh, portion, cutted portion, having the uh, uh, nucleotides for the e coron. So in this step, we want to do the like uh, linkers with. Uh, Here there is an or gene of interest. Both sides are we both sides are make up with equal one restriction nucleotides. Now uh, we can uh, make the then we are when we added the enzyme that makes the uh, sticky and blended. Already there was a sticky and sticky and blended on the uh, plasmid cut side, right? Uh, please just imagine that E4 or one cut the restricted uh, the plasmid that was then uh, uh, cut. Then then now in this step we got this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, foreign gene incorporated uh, sequence. The, here we want to ligate this portion with the our uh, plasmid. after that plasmid we are injected the plasmid into uh, um, that at the, after the bacterial cell we want to understand whether it is recombinant 
is valescent recombinant means that foreign particle uh, is uh, lo loaded in the plasmid that uh, that express express something. Here another here first is start it's a normal plasmid concept. First thing see in the see you are using the normal uh, plasmid. It's a plasmid based concept. Other th at the same time we we may use the cosmid. Cosmid is a, itself having the cos site at their site. Cos 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 site at the uh, genome at the plasmid. In the genome seek. This uh, okay. Now we are under under the yeast artificial chromosome. It's an uh, automatically replicating sequence. Uh, it's elemental. Uh, it's element uh, preservation of yeast artificial chromosome in the. Uh, is the cells. This helps to containing the artificial uh, chromosomes constructed based on the centromere, telomere. This the centromere sequences because uh, this uh, artificial genome, artificial chromosome um, uh, developed at the uh, uh, mitotic level that marked genes on the each arm that is selectable in the uh, having the tryptophan and aerosol. This tryptophan and aerosol is a very very important thing in the eta artificial chromosome experiment. These are all the independent uh, things. It, this restriction this uh, Chromosome is having the unique restriction site that can be uh, the, the helps to reinserting of uh, DNA, the, uh, the base bus 500 base bus long gene. In the uh, previous image, artificial chromosome, the, the selection of the plasmid is very important thing. If you are chosen the small means, you can choose the small plasmid the big uh, if, you are, if you want to the longer or big uh, dna means gene, gene of interest means you need to select the uh, gel plasmid so this is the helpful to uh, inserting of 50, 50 kb longer gene another one is the bacterial artificial chromosome uh, here uh, that uh, experimental point of view the bacterial artificial having the n number of uh, uh, the genes on their site and n number of the restriction uh, uh, restriction site also restriction site is uh, each and every enzymes have you can add any enzymes you can uh, that is the, your uh, depends on your experiment if you want to cut the cut the intervention if you want to Get the soil region that you, want, you can cut the soil region. This depends on your uh, gene of interest and your uh, experimental uh, depends on your experiment. This uh, artificial 50 kb of the size of uh, uh, DNA. So only here I mentioned it helps to uh, 50 kb. <laughs> Oh, sorry, 500 kb length uh, gene, length uh, gene, 500 kb length gene. Apart from this, uh, uh, it's the artificial chromosome and bacterial artificial chromosome. We have the uh, cosmid, phosmid, these all things in the gene expression. Main bacterial artificial chromosome. And eat artificial chromosome plasmid. These three are most widely used experiments. Some of the experiments, because many of the laboratories don't have the uh, safety level, so they are uh, won't allow the bacteria and the bacteriophage system. 
uh, this artificial chromosomes back would and happen in the research laboratories uh, it's one thing of a small explanation about the uh, cloning here it's in a plasmid if they having the f plasmid uh, f plasmid it's cut within the lac is a gene uh, here the notable word f f plasmid helps to lac is a gene with the recognition site we can inject the that the, the specific gene this yellow one is the, the specific gene of interest here if we can add add it in the particular portion so is artificial uh, l is electroporate for the after the plasmid construction we need to uh, inject the plasmid in the cell right bacterial cell for that we need to do the electroporation electroporation or chemical induction process in the in why we want to do this this during the electroporation that cells are sitting on the relaxed their uh, cell uh, cell wall so there was the small holes are uh, for the entry of uh, entry of the foreign dna that construction to be the empty competent cells that is the uh, that cell don't having any plasmid that have only nuclear cells uh, after that uh, that cells are loaded with the plasmid in the, by electrophoresis once after the injection of plasmid into the bacterial cell we need to do the induction this induction helps to uh, express the protein that expression of protein is uh, uh is helps to get the more before that we want to uh, do the confirmation test confirmation test means uh, whether that uh, gene is inserted into the plasmid or the whether the plasmid is injected to the bacterial cell we want to confirm that so they are doing the uh, if there is some bacteria that is the plasmid we are doing the medium induction medium this in this medium they are if they are if you are getting the uh, white screen, white uh, colonies means that white colonies are have uh, uh, that white colonies are transformed recombinant plasmids that is the recombinant strains because uh, why because that uh, first step itself they mentioned right that a plasmid it's an a plasmid uh, cut but have which happen at the lac is a gene if there is the lac, lac is a gene present in the cell that helps to convert the x call to uh, into blue blue color product so that makes the blue color this blue color explains okay it's having the it's don't having the plasmid uh, the, uh, the that plasmid having the lac is a gene that lac is a gene producing the that uh, x call otherwise if there is some rest modified plasmid means there was no lac is a gene because we are uh, cut cut down at the early stage itself so there is no lac is a gene there is no conversion of lac is a gene that is looks like why mm can okay. uh, we are entering into the sequencing right after this uh, colony separation we want to do the sequencing in the sequencing we we are having uh, uh, experiment is called as the uh, uh, for dna library construction itself before the a uh, sequencing we want to construct the and store the cd cdna library so we are having the chromosome marking it's a experiment have uh, they are did in uh, many laboratories it's this is in this uh, chromosome marking in this step or uh, uh, till this step we are, we follow this uh, experiment okay uh, it's just imagine imagine Uh, they are taken particular gene from any species, many species, and inject with the plasmid to the plasmid step. 
after this step they are have if there is they are uh, understand okay this gene having the probe a this gene having the probe b that likewise we are uh, we are, they are did uh, many uh, rapid experiments this using this experiment we can understand the okay this portion having the a gene this portion having the b gene that is the experimental understanding and evaluation it's happen after the uh, cloning and separation process uh, this after every experiment you need to confirm whether it is having the uh, uh, recombinant dna or not so only there one is the blue white screening method another one is or genome or this uh, um, uh, that colonies are formed on the cell surface the, uh, in the medium surface we uh, paste over the nitrocellular membrane uh, paste the uh, nitrocellular membrane over to the medium here the dots are there right the single strand patch dna on the filter membrane here that is a dna that uh, plaques formed the plaques means that is don't having the cell surface it's only the uh, dna molecules that dna is uh, uh, it's covered with the nitrocellular membrane that nitrocellular membrane automatically carries the single strand dna this patch the that is the patch dna after this uh, after the uh, uh this membrane after the this auto radiography if there is the illumination happen in the uh, in the dots that that having the complementary probe that having the recombinant probe uh after the why after this cloning after this uh, cdna library construction we having the n number of genes this genes want to carry, we want to sequence it by the uh, sequence before for their understanding for their future analysis so sequencing they are did the sequencing techniques in the sequencing technique uh, they are um, follows many uh, technique uh, first maximum gilbert method gilbert method this maximum gilbert method is a maximum used method uh, so only they uh, so i mentioned here first having the sequential steps first step is a selection of and the collection of double stranded dna we want to label at the end just for understanding we want to label at the end then cut down at the cut down with the restriction enzyme as usual again we are going to use the e cor one some anything any uh, restriction enzyme that restriction enzyme to cut that the particular portion so we have the strand uh the one remove the one part one portion take the one particular portion so get the excess gill strand take the gill strand uh each and every step we want to uh add the single step alone it's not only the one step in this between this uh, particular for uh, particular point we need to do the rapid steps after the removal of the stem uh, we need to add it in uh, one particular test tube in the test tube uh, the same the same dna is added to all all the test tube right one stem that one stem added in all uh, test tube that one that is having Similar one particular, so four four tubes are having same DNA. That same DNA having the same nucleotide. Here in this experiment, they are adding G, G plus G, G plus T, and C. This separately adding types. After the addition of this nucleotides, uh, we are uh, doing the gel electrophoresis. that electrophoresis is not the auto or under auto radiography if we are getting the band at g okay that bound at the, uh, this uh, final one this c at 
make interact with the strand. If there is a stand is formed, means there is a G. Because G and G only interaction, right? There is a G. So it's an understanding image. Here uh, you can, uh, the four samples are loaded. If you got the, if you got the band at one side means, okay, there was a C component. Another one thing is uh, uh, here G and C and T, right? C and T, but you got the band at one, 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 one place, not get in this A. So in this, from the first line image itself, you can understand here it the C and T, but only got the band at the C. So there is no T. Just the understanding uh, first in first here the first lane first lane they are uh, they are same strand with the uh, four uh, different uh, nucleotides. This nucleotides we having uh, after the nucleotide addition we did the gel electrophoresis. That in this gel electrophoresis we can understand. Whether the DNA, uh, uh, we can understand whether the sequence having uh, C or G or T. We, 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 that may carries any, um, any nucleotide. Just understanding through the addition, ad added this nucleotide. In this test tip, uh, in, the, in this test tip, we added only C, right? Uh, if, uh, we, so we can't get any other nucleotide. It's a very, very important thing. Here we having first step we having cutter DNA that cutter DNA is uh, added in all test tube. In the all test tube we added uh, the nucleotide sequence, particular specific nucleotide sequence. TPs, T and TPs we added. This T and TPs are uh, bound with the opposite strand and produce the extension. If there is uh, interaction happen, means there was the band appears. Otherwise, there is no bond, no band. Okay. Uh, then uh, you uh, here in this image you got the G, and also here you got the G. It's an understandable one. Uh, they used this image alone. We can tell what is the amino acid is there. What's the nuclear, nucleic acid is there? Uh, it's an another thing, another pictorial representation for understanding. Here, uh, that uh, stand is labeled with uh, P while adding the uh, um, A plus G. It, uh, it can uh, interact at this particular portion and make the band. Then second down is uh, in this step there this image is uh, produced based on the interaction of interaction of uh, uh, the strand and add a nucleic uh, TNTPs. Another one is the Sanger method. Sanger method is a very very easiest method and it can be uh, directly calculate evaluating the sequences. First, we want the, the, the primer designed is a very important thing uh, because uh, the stand is added with the primers. This primers helps to extend all the uh, 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 whole sequences. So technique, uh, first step is um, the single stand addition of the DNTPs. This DNTPs helps to uh, develop all the uh, stand, then denaturation. This after this template, this ring of template, we want to do the add the primer. This primers are very specific. That primers are a, helps to uh, extend the DNA molecule. Uh, primers are helps to produce the larger quantity of sequences that helps to piece uh, helps in the PCR amplification. So in this step, uh, in the Sanger sequencing step, they are using the primers for their uh, primer for their extension. 
and then as a PCR, my PCR experiment. In this PCR experiment, first one is the denaturation. Two steps are divided. Then annealing. Annealing before the annealing, we are add. We want to add the uh, primers. The primers are extended. That is the extension. That's the first cycle. It's repeated. Repeatedly happen. Repeatedly happen. It's a very one example. If you add, if you were start the experiment with one stand, that is divided, divided, divided for the n number. Depends on cycle. The rate of PCR cycle is two power n. You get the more sequences. It's another example alone. Uh, here the thing is uh, denaturation temperature is 95 degree and uh, the annealing temperature is between the or uh, PCR annealing for uh, temperature is uh, six, six, oh, one second, I'm gonna repeat. Uh, take the temperature with uh, 60 to 45 to 60 and then uh, the, the temperature for uh, the DNA polymerase activity. These are all the things uh, very importantly focus uh, focus in the PCR uh, experiment. PCR experiment is a uh, very important thing in sequencing. In this uh, extension of uh, this in the in extension process polymerase this dna polymerase uh, uh, is added based on the amount of dna uh, if there is a larger quantity of uh, uh, dna strand means we need uh, we need to add the larger quantity of that uh, dna polymerase uh, the, it depends on the uh, nucleotide a and t, a t and b c present in o, present in the sample uh, that uh, this uh, regular PCR is helps to uh, understand okay whether there is uh, that if there any uh, gene expression or not how much of uh, That is direct labeling and indirect labeling. In this direct labeling, we having the uh, after the reverse transcription for adding the uh, fluorescence with fluorescence molecule with the DTPs. Uh, in the, in the we, we are add, right? uh, in the PCR cell itself, we are added the fluorescence molecule with the with the DT, DNTPs. So that DNTPs are are added over uh, the uh, in the uh, in the reverse run, the direct labeling is happen at the reverse transcription step itself. In the indirect labeling, where that uh, DNTPs are uh, holding the uh, the conjug that uh, uh, stand the having the fluorescent interaction site alone. The direct labeling that in DNTPs carries the fluorescence. In the indirect labeling, the DNTPs carries the only site, the fluorescent labeling site. So after the transcription process, uh, labeled separately and uh, output happened. Uh, this is the final output of uh, the primer development step. Then uh, next generation sequencing is the application of PCR method. In this application of PCR method, we have application in the uh, medical field in many many fields we have the application uh, this next, in this next generation sequencing 
ఫస్ట్ స్టెప్ ఇస్ డిఎన్ఏ ఫ్రాగ్మెంటేషన్ దెన్ అడాప్టర్ లైగేషన్ దెన్ పీసీఆర్ దెన్ ఎన్సెమెటిక్ ఫ్లూరసెన్స్ అద ఇండికేటర్ దెన్ ప్రిపది మైక్రోఆర్ఏ దిస్ ఇస్ ద మెథడ్ ద సెలెక్టెడ్ ది లార్జెస్ట్ సీక్వెన్స్ కట్ డౌన్ ఇన్ టు స్మాల్ పీసెస్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద స్మాల్ పీస్ ఐడెంటిఫికేషన్ వి వాంట్ టు ఓవర్ ల్యాపింగ్ ఓవర్ ల్యాపింగ్ ఇస్ హెల్ప్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద షార్ట్ గెన్ సీక్వెన్సింగ్ టెక్నిక్ this overlapping we can get the assembled sequence this shock and sequence sequencing technique larger dna fragmented to small small dna that sequence that small small sequences are separately sequenced dna is separately sequenced and it's uh, undergone the overlapping after the overlapping we get the assembled dna here uh, this is the reverse transcriptase process for mrna synthesis the mrna in the mrna synthesis we having this strand with uh, in the in this mrna strand we have the uh, oligo ttp primers in the, using this oligo ttp primers incubate with the reverse transcriptase enzyme we can synthesis the complement dna uh, after the complement dna receiving we will move the mrna this complement is not uh, that uh, uh, that second stand alone this second stand we having n1 uh, we having the loop this loop is cut down by with the n nuclease and then in this mrna transcription reverse transcription four enzymes are very very important reverse transcriptase uh, that rna removal that is have mrna removal then dna polymerase then s1 nucleus this are all the very very important thing in the or uh, reverse the cdna cdna conversion conversion is very very important in the sequencing this sequencing uh, is the application of the pcr method pcr method without pcr we can't sequence uh, you we may listen the uh, listen this word rt pcr in the corona period because many of the corona virus can be uh, handled only by the rt pcr this rapid test kit is uh, only 92% and 93% alone but this uh, uh, rt pcr technique is only uh, the 100% accurate accurate method okay first receiving the sample from the patient we are isolate any then uh, isolate the, isolate the mrna sequence of the virus and develop the complementary dna after the development of complementary dna they did uh, the uh, uh, pcr reaction after receive, uh, accumulate after receiving the accumulated uh, sequ- accumulated uh, uh, co- uh, sam- sequencing then se- after the sequencing they are receiving okay whether it is whether the cell uh, the, uh, the the patient is infected with the uh, corona or not Uh, the application then another uh, se- uh, after the sequencing the uh, microarray is a very important thing uh, in the in this microarray cells are collected mrna is collected from the cells that are loaded on the uh, one strand one uh, board that uh, if there is an uh, uh, there is an uh, mrna uh, DNA, uh, if want a dna that uh, make a bound interaction on the site that makes a fluorescence and very uh, one uh, another thing which uh, here, uh, here this is a normal cell this is the mrna and they are synthesis the cdna with the green fluorescence here it's a cancer cancer cell this cancer cell having the specific gene of interest expression the normal cell some genes are suppressed cancer cell some genes are expressed this expressed genes are bound with uh, uh, that produced as a mrna here that is labeled with the yeah red fluorescence here in this uh, in this uh, board here they having the uh, lab, probe probe only for uh, that gene if this normal gene the gene is not expressed but in the uh, cancer cell particularly the gene is highly expressed so uh, if this this is the experiment this is the microarray board this microarray board having the complementary stand for specific gene this uh, if there is uh, there in, if there is interact no. the mic if there is any uh, interaction happen on the membrane 
that membrane uh, makes uh, fluorescence that is the dna microarray concept uh, it's an how the image is observed two methods are there also uh, then another dna microarray technique is a spotted method in this spotted method here the having uh, uh, board with uh, uh, complemented dna and uh, here the their in the tip of the pen they having the dna if there is an complemented dna means that is uh, that make it release the tip otherwise it won't interact with it um is the uh, in this till now we discussed uh, from the uh, basic experiment to the advanced experiment from the basic experiment we are understand what is the enzymes used in the uh, experiment what is the uh, what is plasmid what is yeast artificial chromosome bacterial artificial chromosome using these uh, or uh, the, uh, the words plasmid cosmid uh, in sense you develop the cloning after the cloning we need to understand construct the cdna library then after the cdna for the dna for the cdna library construct we want to do the pcr application so we are a flp aflp rapd and the pcr take rt pcr this the most important thing happen in the experimental level using the application of this pcr is the sequencing technique sanga sequencing axon gilpat sequencing uh, and shotgun sequencing are the major thing uh, this using this uh, uh, this now once again i want to tell this let you let you know because uh, the sanga sequencing shotgun sequencing and um, maxim gilpat sequencing they must ask the question from this three topics the, so that this three topics is a very very important thing uh, please is refer more uh, about the researchers on the uh, this uh, uh, sequencing technique apart from this techniques uh, the application is uh, one important thing that application part is the microarray uh, dna microarray this microarray happen in the two two way it's in one is normal uh, cdna probed chip cdna probed chip having the single strand of dna Uh, if you having the complemented dna that makes a interaction and it make a color and another one is the tip based probe based method uh, tomorrow we are going to discuss about the immunological techniques today previously last two day yesterday and today we discussed the molecular techniques genetic techniques tomorrow we will going to discuss about the immunological techniques and the uh, molecular visualization tools use you we will be visible fluorescence in our x ray crystallography these are all the small small portions though so no problem we will cover with uh, as soon as possible in one hour thank you everyone uh, if you have any questions uh, uh, please uh, raise in, uh, uh, in this chat box i will send the answers to your uh, uh, a, with the previous day last two days we have a bending questions with that question i will send the answer thank you for your patience